Hey, how we doing? I'm Andy, this is Spider Spiders. Uh, thanks for coming back. And uh, today we're gonna go back to last month when I was doing all the breeding projects and have a look at the Syria Cosmos Elegance because uh, again, we got a sack. So yeah, this sack, um, I'm pulling it early and there's two reasons for that. Now, the first one is I've been looking online and I noticed on a lot of the breeding reports, a lot of people had pulled these sacks uh, at around about three weeks and they'd found that they had first edge slings, uh, past eggs were legs. But another reason is that we're coming into this next major heat wave uh, and I'm also going away to Carfest next week. So I basically these would be due to be pulled the day before I go away. So I want to pull them early just so I can keep an eye on things and, and make sure things are all right before I have to go away for five days. I don't really want to pull them and then go away for five days and just leave them. So yeah, anyway, that's enough of me rambling. I'm going to show you uh, me pulling this sack. Uh, I, sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Ooh, uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. So this is the, the egg sack pull from the Siri Cosmos Elegance that we paired a couple of months ago. Cheers. So, as you see, eh, this is the sack. This is the mother just, I caught this just as she was finishing rotating it one afternoon. Uh, this was a day or so before I pulled it, I think, if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty cool to watch and because unfortunately it was the last minute when I thought to get me uh, my camera out but now we move on to me actually taking this sack so you see she's just in one of these little tubs but she burrowed quite deep into it and um, so the first sort of job was removing enough substrate so that I could actually get down to the chamber that she created first little grab and you see she wasn't keen on letting it go but second time round we go back in and she gives it up pretty easily if I'm honest. So what I did here is I just put a little bit of cock back that she had as a, as a hide, I just put that back over the top of her for now, just to give her a little bit of security um, while I went about sorting this egg sack. Um, you say I saved the substrate that I took out so that I could put that back in later on, but yeah, just for now I wanted to focus on this sack. And as you can see, it's really small. It's probably only about, I don't know, centimetre and a half, maybe two centimetres uh, at its widest point. Right? Now, I actually forgot to start recording this, as so you'll see here I'd opened the first layer before I realised. And uh, so you catch me now. Unfortunately the focus isn't great, but you catch it as I'm just getting in and creating that hole. So this is our first look inside the sack. And as you can see there is some movement there. And there you have it. We have some first stage spiderlings. So these have gone past the eggs with legs stage and it's their first molt. And these things are absolutely tiny. We're talking probably less than half a centimetre in leg span at this point. Like. And you can see they are moving quite well. A lot better than the Orphanacus egg sack from my last video. But now began the quite laborious task as it ended up of emptying the sack. I got most of them out, but this sack was so small and the spiderlings were so small. It seemed to take forever um, to get in between all the creases and make sure that I'd managed to actually get all of them out. So 
so that you can see. This is our first stage spider links. Um, I haven't counted them up, but as you can see, there's quite a few there. So yeah, I'm well happy about this one. Every egg has developed into a, a spiderling. There was no eggs with legs. There was nothing. The inside of the egg sac was perfectly clean. Um, yeah, I just couldn't have asked for a, a better turnout, especially after what's happened with the, the Ophnacus one in the last videos I've mentioned. So they go into their little nursery pot and they'll be put on the side and incubated. This is, I think this is two or three days later now. to get some nice little close-up macro shots of, of some of them. This is a few days further on. You can see some of these have molted again. and most of them have now molted out to that next stage again. And you can see just a close-up of some of the old molds. And again, this is a few days later now. And you can even see some of the little triangles forming on some of the carapace. So yeah, as I've said, we're really happy with this one. So we're just going to have to keep an eye now. Um, hopefully everything will go well with these. But yeah, that was the Syria Cosmos Elegans egg sac. So yeah, like I said, that was, uh, that was awesome. So I was really happy with how that turned out in the end. Every egg had developed. Um, it was a perfectly clean sack inside, as you've seen. And every egg had developed to that first stage sling. They were all past the, the eggs were legs as it was. It was 21 days, I think 22 days that have pulled this. So anybody that's breeding them, it might be something to bear in mind, like uh, rather than waiting the full, I mean, you suppose you could wait the full 30 days. I just wasn't in a position to sort of be able to do that without the, the seemingly be too much risk for me anyway. I don't think my OCD and things could have coped with pulling this egg sack and then going away for five days. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but yeah. Like I say, they all, all turned out really well. So now it's just a case of sort of keeping an eye on things, bringing them on and seeing what happens. Uh, hopefully, I haven't counted them, but hopefully we're going to have like a, a good little clutch there and I'll be able to get some of these back out into the obby. But um, yeah, like I said, that was the, the Syria Cosmos Elegans egg sac pull. And uh, yeah, quite happy with that result. So I hope you all enjoyed it as well and uh, drop a comment and all the rest of it uh, like subscribe all that other stuff you know and i'll uh, i'll catch you all in the next one cheers Ta -da.